About a month ago, a friend of mine came to me with a very curious proposition. He asked me whether I wanted to help him create a virtual art gallery. He would be the curator and I would be the developer. I had never done anything like that in my entire life, but it seemed like an intriguing concept, so I accepted. And today, exactly one month later, eMuseum was born. An app available both for iOS and Android, completely for free, that gathers 67 artworks by 12 extremely talented artists coming from all parts of the globe. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the story of how this crazy idea came to life, of what issues I had to deal with on the development side of things, and generally how this wild experience unfolded. But first off, what is eMuseum? eMuseum is an art gallery that hosts digital artworks. By that, I mean that the artworks are all created with some kind of software, like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, and some of them are even made with AI. The objective of this project is to promote digital art. And we want to do this by selecting some talented artists and by giving them a dedicated space for them to showcase their works. Only problem is that when we start the development, we don't have either of those things. We don't have the artists and we don't have the gallery. So to overcome this, I quickly set up a landing page to create a call for artists. Additionally to explaining what a museum is, the page contains a button which redirects the users to a Google form. This is the platform where we gather the artworks. At this time, of course, we still have zero applications, and we anticipate to not get any until we start massively advertising the page. But there's a catch, because we don't have any money to spend on advertising. But we still gotta get the artworks, we gotta get them fast, and most importantly, they have to be good. So me and my friends start spreading out the word here in Italy, we even managed to get a news article written about the museum, and the first few applications start coming in. A few of them are actually pretty good and even made it to the final version of the app, but it's still not enough. And that's when we get a very important idea. Hey, why don't we just open this thing to any artist anywhere on the planet? But how can you get artists to join your art show if they don't know about the art show? And that's when I think, well, we could just tell them. And that's exactly what I do. I start reaching out to artists I follow on Instagram who I think are very talented. I introduce myself to them, I talk about the project, and to my surprise, most of them actually respond back saying that they wanna be a part of the show. And just like that, without spending any money, without doing any paid advertising, we start gathering some very talented artists who start sending us a lot of their works to showcase. Now that we have the artworks, I just have to create the gallery. And keep in mind, time and resources are very, very limited. The development team is made up of one person, which is me, and I have about two or three weeks to create this thing. So I quickly realized that instead of creating a gallery completely from scratch, I can just get one ready from the Unity Asset Store, because that's gonna save me a lot of time and it's still gonna be better than anything I can model myself in like a week. Same thing goes for the character controller. Instead of creating a new one, I can just get the third person controller from the Unity Asset Pack and tweak it as needed. And that works because the only thing that the player needs to do in this app is walk and look around. This is not an RPG, the player is not gonna start suddenly rolling and shooting around at stuff, so this serves the purpose. I know that doesn't make a very captivating or engaging development story, but sometimes as a developer you have to focus on getting things done both well and fast. Long story short, I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but I put all the 67 artworks in the gallery, I make a second floor which is reachable using an elevator, I make a system that lets the player interact with the artworks when he gets close to them, I make some cool VFX to signal which artwork the player is gonna interact with, I do a few more polishing tweaks like making the player rotate his head to the artwork when he's able to see it, I make a cool TV info point kind of thing that also serves as a main menu where we gather all the info about the museum and the artists and just like that, boom, I go ahead and launch this thing on App Store and Play Store. eMuseum is out and it's the first art showcase completely digital in the world. At least I think it is. Whew. Okay, coming to the final considerations. I don't have any, this video was much quicker than I anticipated it to be, but I had a lot of fun and the app is free, if you want to download it you can do it, go check out all the talented artists who participated in the show, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, leave a comment, like, you know how it goes, uh, yeah, and uh, go check out the art show, see you, see you soon, bye bye, love you.